Hey YouTube, welcome back to Universe X, it's Chris, and um, today I would actually like to do a discussion piece. I'm going to start trying to do these, finding topics that I think people actually may want to listen to from time to time. So, the name of this video is 50, 60, or somewhere in between. And tonight, I want to talk about deck size. So, sometimes we are too busy making stupid jokes to remember that we need to also ask people to like, comment, subscribe, because I'm still trying to grow the channel, and that I'm also still doing a contest, huh, giveaway, uh, giving away cards for the free. All you gotta do is subscribe, like, comment on that video. That video in question will be down in the uh, description. And um, without further ado, let me get back to the video. Thanks. Take that for what you may. Um, basically, I want to kind of get your opinions and talk about the state of the game in terms of speed versus how many cards we have in deck. Um, right now, Dragon Ball Super has 50 cards per main deck, with four of each copy of a card being its playset. Now, um, a lot of games that have four of each card have a uh, you know 60 card maximum. I'm um, looking at Magic being one of them, being probably the most successful model to go off of. And um, while Magic can have the argument that they have land cards, which need more room because they can't be any cards, I think that where we've gotten in Dragon Ball Super in five sets and uh, two themes, boosters, I'm not sure if 50 is the end-all be-all limit that we should have. So I mean the pros of having us at 50. Dragon Ball Super decks can be extremely consistent, as in the deck will do the same thing every time you sit on the table, pretty much. And that's that's cool, you know? Um, your Shinron decks will assemble their pieces over generally the first five turns of the game. You know, even your wonky decks can have the consistency needed for them to perform well at locals and do this, do that. Um, but at the same time, um, I shall say that for cons. It's just consistency is the number one benefit from having a 50 card deck. Uh, lots of other games can suffer from things like this. Look at Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, you have a 40 card deck minimum, but they have a semi-limited and limited list as well as a ban list. So sometimes you're looking for one to two copies of a card. And even with all the deck thinning that Yu-Gi-Oh can have, sometimes that card just doesn't come to you. In Dragon Ball Super, it's really not that much of a problem. Uh, you can run two of a card and see it often. Heck, Storm can run one ofs and know that they're generally gonna see it before the end of the game. As uh, Mira used to be a one of before its importance in the Hercule matchup and whatnot, you know, just progressed as the uh, meta formed around it. But um, pretty much consistency is the main pro and it's the only pro needed now moving on to the cons of having a 50 card deck um you one we're at a point in the game where there is so much thinning that we have to actually manage how much we search how much we draw and that is a plus and a minus it kind of adds more skill than just draw all the cards search all the cards but at the same time it makes certain decks kind of it's not counterintuitive, that's not quite as it is. It it is a plus minus. It's a it's a balance. There's there's a there's a you know positive part and there's a negative part. But you have Shinron decks. They're in a very, very weird space because the way most Shinron decks work with your thinning and how you do things, for the most part, you're either you're trying to survive until turn four or five to execute your entire combo. Because if you can't you're done. Not just from the leader flipping back over, but because the fact that your opponent, if they survive that turn somehow, they really don't even have to push you. They can push you, but you've only got a couple more turns left, especially things like the Child's Wish decks, um, decks that don't necessarily go Jita, but instead go for the uh, all um, the uh, at all cost Vegeta. Sometimes you don't have much of a deck left. Um, and against decks like Janimba, Janimba it's the only deck in the game that has an inevitable time clock. You simply cannot go more than X amount of turns against a Genoma deck. You have to kill them first, or you just simply don't win. And I think that a 50-card deck combined with 
the amount of thinning and drawing and searching that we have in the game, it puts Janimba always in a limbo spot of not the best deck, can be played around, but if, if this deck just has a good day, it'll just run stuff. It'll just snatch tops that don't even really need to be there. And every card game kind of has those outlier decks, those gotcha decks, but um, it's just kind of odd. Now, in a 60 card deck, we're going to move on to that number. We're looking at the pros of these decks is that you can fit so much more. Now, I know that every deck shouldn't be able to do everything, but I would like to be able to work between defense and offense because right now, for your deck to do what it needs to do under the microscope of Storm, your defensive core is like four counters and your super combos, which also, you know, kind of double as uh, your offensive core as well. I mean, they're just free combo powers and floaters in terms of card advantage. And so with your defensive core being able to be this thin sometimes, unless your deck is more of a reactionary deck, and that's kind of hard to do in a format dominated by Storm, I think that 60 cards would be a little cooler. Yes, it would hurt the consistency of your deck, but if your deck is meant to have options and control the pace of the game, you're not necessarily trying to dig to the same four cards every time. You're trying to make sure that you have the most thick with eight C's brick house to defend your life and hinder your opponent's strategies. Um, I think that while Storm decks benefit from a 50 card deck, and aggro decks would benefit from a 50 card deck, I think that control and, and mid range actually would benefit more from having a 60 card deck or a slider, you know? And um, that actually brings me to the next option, which would be just kind of how Yu-Gi-Oh has it. You can play between 40 and 60 cards. I think that that's actually the way that Dragon Ball Super should be. Let your Storm decks have 50 cards. Let your Yamcha decks have 50 cards. Let your Bloodlust Dot Yellow deck have 60 cards. Allow them to run the copies of Time Magic, Solar Flare, Nimbus at Max, and then Crusher Balls to however many degrees they want without saying that you simply don't have enough cards to push for game. Combo power is very important in this game, and when it comes down to it, the more defensive cards you run, the less you can combo. And it's ironic because when you can't combo high, like Shenron decks, your their offense becomes a better defense. It's like, you know, they don't have the ability to stop a gajillion attacks. But when you're only making a couple attacks and they have to push through, but you can only combo up to 50 each time, 60 each time, it's not that hard to stop. Um, Shinron decks can run into this problem. If you're forced to use too many Sensu Beans defensively, you may not have the push to push through your dude offensively. That's actually why at all costs is so good in a Shinron deck because it boosts itself on top of Shinron's boost. Um, putting any random card in the way of Shinron's ultimate, giving it plus 10k and triple attack, isn't necessarily going to get the job done all the time. So um, I think that Dragon Ball Super would definitely benefit from a sliding just deck size um the only thing i also want to kind of put in there is that it may kind of if it was a sliding a sliding range storm wouldn't change aggro decks wouldn't change it's just that control decks and mid-range decks have more flexibility to build themselves um if they did it a hard 60 instead of 50 it may be a little hard because while storm gets a little you know more space to put in cards storms already optimized storm pretty much by now is at its until we get new cards to add into it storms at its peak efficiency it, it has the best four ofs it chooses like just meticulously how to put its three of and two of slots storms where it's at but um it's just that putting something mandatorily up to 60 does kind of hurt the ability to build streamlined, fast to the ground aggro decks. And um, this game up until set three had a major problem closing our games quickly because these aggro 
archetypes didn't exist. We complained about that, Ben and I changed that. Now they're a little too fast, a little too strong. So I do think that uh, the game would benefit very well off of having a 50 to 60 size deck. A little extra room, you can put some more defensive cards in there, you can put some extra tech cards, and then most importantly, it eases up on the side deck. Because this game, yes, when you get up to the top 32, you're seeing a lot of Storm, and then you're seeing some Fringe. But before you get there, this is a game you can sit down and play Hercule, then play Androids, then play Gogeta Shinron, then play Child's Wish Shinron, then play Storm, play Storm again, then plays normal Gogeta that somehow has made it seven wins in without losing. And the side deck is incredibly tight for that kind of environment. As you all know, Dragon Ball Super doesn't have a tight meta until you actually have placed. And I think that having a 50 through 60 card deck size along with your 15 card sideboard will probably alleviate a lot more of the constraints that some players are already feeling with your sideboard. So um, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys liked that video. Um, remember to like, comment, subscribe. There is only uh, one more day. This is pretty much the day, but I'll put it until Sunday. There's one more day to get up to 100 subscribers. And after that, um, I'll be able to pass out prizes. I've already shown you guys the uh, stuff here, but uh, I want to give these cards out to you. I want to give these cards out to you. So, um, I mean, one more time, just six more subscribers, and we're doing just all the stuff. The, uh, the 17s, the Infernal Machine 17s, the Yamchas, the Foil Bulmas. So, uh, actually, the tier, it's all in the other video. Like, and, you know, the Gogeta himself, and I'm just doing things like that. Um, so, again, thanks for coming by, and I'll see you next time in Universe X. Peace.